review on this Meguiar's Hot Wheel, Hot Rim Wheel Tire Cleaner. See how this works. I've never used wheel cleaner before. I've always seen it on the shelf, so I was curious. And I know these, these rims been sitting for a while. Hella brake dust on the inner, on the inner side. Uh, outside, not too bad, but decided to grab some and see how it works. So I'm gonna do a little before and after. So just wet them down. I'm about to uh, spray it. Spread it down, I guess, let it sit for a minute and uh, and scrub it. I got the wheel brush right here, a microfiber pad type of brush. Let's see how this works. I sprayed it on, and let it sit, and it seemed like it's working. Lips already look like a little, a little glossier. Not that matte gray looking color from all the brake dust, so I can hose it down, spray it a little more, spray it one more time and let it uh, let it sit again. This is a uh, three piece, I mean two piece, four Giotto 22s, four inch lip in the back, Inferno style. So far so good, so far so good, I kind of like this. I'm See, it's actually penetrating and working, so so far so good. We're gonna see what that after what that what that after video look like. And I've never cleaned these inner lips since I had them, and they've been on the car over two years. Never took the wheels off and actually did it like this. So I know it was a lot of grit and grime and rain and brake dust behind here. The outer lips is pretty good though. I waxed them a few times within that two year range, so we gonna see. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I can tell it's really breaking down that uh that brake dust. But it never seems to uh, amaze me how good McGuire's products are. A lot of people complain and talk shit about them or use different branch hurdles, mothers. And, um, I think I first tried McGuire's, uh, the Carnuba wax, and I was using like turtle wax and different brand waxes. And I got hip to that and seen the quality of the wax and how it made the car look like a black car at the time. I just, I just been a fan ever since. And I don't think I, I have yet to come across a product by McGuire's that I actually didn't like. So, stand by for this, I uh, rinse off. Yeah. Now you can see where I'm wiping and where the brush really can't get because of the the studs. And you can see the difference right there. That's crazy. It really worked. crazy I'm painting these painting these wheels in the next day or two I'm out here finally detailing them and cleaning them like I'm about to leave them this color it's crazy but I don't want to keep moving the wheels around and you know they in and out the car and they hella dirty and dusty and fucking my fingers up and shit <clears throat> this is basically the before and after. I have to use a hot brand wheel and tire cleaner. I ain't gonna lie, it, it got cracking for sure, for sure. Loosen up all that brake dust in the back. Really couldn't get right there because of the, uh, the nuts, and it don't even really matter. It's the inner lip anyway, so. But. It, it, it did what it was supposed to do. It definitely knocked off all the shit where uh, 
I can really penetrate it with the towel and the scrub brush, so. Got my vote. And this is uh, how they look before. Of course, the outer gonna be clean. But that was the inner look. It was it was it was caked up pretty good. It was caked on there pretty good. So to go from that back to that, got my vote. Thumbs up for me.